One, two. Hello guys, quickly, let's talk about the outline for work, energy and power. Now, I know some of you say, is it not work, energy and power? Listen to me, if you have been following Learn Leaf class, you know that no class is a joke. It is not the conventional, normal work, energy and power, you know, you just say work is first and existence. Work is beyond that. Energy is beyond the ability to do work. It's beyond power, it's beyond work over time. Do you understand? There's a between reading something and understanding. When you understand it, you can, anytime they ask you, when the question is twisted, you know what the question is saying because you understand the topic. So everything about work, energy, and power has been covered. I covered it in what? In six video lessons. Do you understand? There is notes. In, under that part, there's by a past question, which is sensibility format for just work, energy, and what? And power. Work has its own past question. Energy has its own past question. Power has its own past question. Add everything they have asked, even if you open the notes, you see it. When you finish it, at least you will answer all the questions on work, all the questions on, en on energy, all the questions on what? Power. What is the, simply the outline? First, when we talk about the word, the concept of what? Of work. Listing out the concept, many things was explaining the concept of work. Like I said, it's not just product of first and instance. And take note that I also gave them bad code. The constant question they used to ask is when they ask you about scalar and vector. Just know that work, energy, and power, three of them are scalar. I also prove it for you within the class. You also see that a lot of past questions were there. We don't want to talk about one thing students don't know about work, energy, and power, which is the word, the first displacement graph. Remember that for a work is first and distance. What's the first displacement graph? There are about five scenarios. When it's a rectangle, when it's a triangle, when it's a semicycle, I explain all of them. I will train them with the past questions. Play now. Just the one. After that, when further talk about what the concept of what of energy. They ask them of you, what's potential energy? You're gonna tell you, what, you're gonna say uh, potential energy is energy at rest. If you say that, you don't just know that your knowledge is shall. Many of you, that's what they taught you in secondary school. So they just say potential energy, potential is energy at stress. That statement is 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 75% not too correct to explain what is potential energy. 75% not too correct. That means you're only 25% correct when you say potential energy is energy at rest. When you watch the class, you will understand why. What do we mean by potential energy? Do you see that? I explained that. I gave scenarios. When I explain to you, a guy walks up to you and say, I'm going to buy you a car. As the guy bought the car, no. But does the guy have the potential to buy the car from the way he's living his life? Yes. In as far as not bought the car, the ability to buy the car is in him, but he has not bought the car. For example, they give you a gun. Can a gun kill? Yes, the gun can kill. Right? But if they give you that same gun, you can play with the gun. Does that mean that that gun cannot kill? The gun can kill. Until the ability to kill is being converted. So that gun has an ability to kill, but it is rested. It's stored. That stored energy is what got potential energy. When you watch the class, you understand more about what I'm saying. Now, if you go for that one, for that talk about your watch. Your conservation of energy, not just with the graph, we explain the past question in terms of proving why energy is conserved. Showing the relationship between work, between potential energy and kinetic energy from the graph, and you'll be seeing past question life like this. After that, when for that to talk about the, the concept of what when power is equal to energy, constant past question that you see here, when is potential energy equal to what kinetic energy? You see that constantly, you also see that in the class. And after that, when for that talk about the word, the concept of power. That's everything about work energy and power now take notes everything is in the app go through the app you see the chapter click on physics you see the chapter go to work energy and power you see all the videos appear with the notes and you watch the past question i believe you are getting less knowledge take now the learn lift app is not your normal conventional learning watch my work energy and power and go anywhere and check it out i'm not trying to elevate myself but i'm trying to show you what is teaching learning is person a, a person teaching you and showing you life experience life examples you know you don't just watch the class you understand you can teach somebody comfortable if you cannot explain it without looking at anything to somebody it means you don't know it because what you know you can explain what you have is what you give for example they ask you what's your name you don't need to come and think you just say, my name is so so and so because you know your name i'll see you in class so for now you go through the notes go through the cbt Tell a friend about it and lift up a show. Join the 50 gun for those writing jam and ensure to be in the WhatsApp community. But for now, peace out. I'll see you in the first class.